leaders this conference will now be recorded. That um, have been around for many years and have great ideas to share. So I'm so, so excited about that too. Oh my gosh, yes. So why don't we not wait any longer and like kick this thing off, shall we? I am ready to go. So I want to introduce you today to one of our top sellers, top leaders, Joanna Niederheiser, which is a gold leader in Rose Circle. Um, she was actually, if you were on the Avon Visionary, she presented there too. So hello, good afternoon, Miss Joanna. I'm going to let you just take it over. Okay, thank you, Tammy, for having me. Thanks, Lane. Um, I think this is like the most exciting time of the year. You know, everybody is thinking about buying and giving gifts. And if you're like me, you love to give gifts. And um, it's even better than getting, right? Like you love to make people happy. Well, in the beginning, when I first started my business, um, I had a manager and we had reached out to the Ronald McDonald House and to do a large fundraiser. And I ended up purchasing a lot of products over $2,000 worth at the time, because in the past, this had done very well. Well, needless to say, it didn't go very well. And I was stuck with these products. And I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? This was my first season. I needed to decide how to push these products. What was I going to do with these products? I did not want to send them back. I knew that would hurt me. I know it would hurt my leader. So I had to sit down and really think, was I going to have a business with this Avon or was I going to have a hobby? So I decided to reach out to some businesses and I um, asked them if I could come in and sell the products uh, to the people there. You know, this was obviously way before pre-COVID. And I was able to go in and sold every single piece from doing different shows with those products. Now, in, later in the, in, the, um, in the webinar, you're gonna see, I don't advise you to stock up on products. Um, there's a hoarder show for a reason. So I don't advise you to do that. But as you grow your business, and as you get to know your customers, you are able to pre-sell the products. So you have to decide why you do the Avon business. I think that's the biggest thing. Is it, do you want a business or do you want a hobby? A business makes you money. A hobby will cost you money. So like, the, like this um, uh, chart says, if you choose a business, you must decide to invest. This business will work if you invest in the business. Now, it, that can be investing in time. It can be in money. Every single week, and Tammy knows this, I have a calendar. I'm a paper girl. I'm pretty traditional. Um, I have to decide for myself and my business, what income do I need? What am I going to do to provide that income? And how much time do I have for that week? So I have to decide where my time is best spent and what income producing activities, IPAs, will I be doing for the week to make the most of that um, campaign? Because we have a two week campaign. So you have to decide in those two weeks what you're going to do. Screen lane or do I flip it? Thank you. So, you know, I don't know if you know this, but you know, this seemed to be, um, this seemed to be a big secret with my team and I don't know how it was such a secret, but I really wanted to share this with you. Um, when you invest in brochures, if you are a traditional Avon representative or if you want to be more online, you still have to invest, whether it's your time or in brochures or whether it's a little bit of money into the, into the business. And we know that if you have a traditional business, you need to invest in brochures, but you also need to make sure those brochures are in the hands of many. So if you are limited on funds, did you know that you can purchase a package of 50 brochures for $16 and 50 cents? Now let's say you, 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 you want to do that once a month, as opposed to a buying 10 
one campaign, 10 the next campaign, or even 20 one campaign and 20 the next campaign. So let's just say that you are a person who buys a packages of 10, that's 649. Do that over five campaigns, that's $34.45. But if you make the initial investment as a business owner and look at the cost, it's only $16.50 for 50 brochures. And you can do that once a month as opposed to buying 10 or 20 twice a month, which is going to cost you more money. So if you didn't know that, please look at that. If you haven't shared this with your team, I cannot tell you how many people come back and did not know that. Um, I, I don't, I know I've shared it, but it doesn't matter. Just share that regularly with your team members if you have a team, because it's made a big difference. Um, the other thing that I didn't get in here was, um, they did not know that you could charge a shipping fee because we don't have the books anymore. So the 75 cents or a dollar, if you charge, let's say you have 15 customers, you wanna try to have 20 buying customers every single campaign. If you charge $1 to each of those customers, that pays for your brochures for that month, leaving you more money to invest into your business and into a demo to put that money back in for you and to grow your business even more. So I hope that was helpful to some. Next. <laughs> um, so if you don't have the 1650, we know that you can invest your time into the digital brochure. It's very easy. There are so many great, um, pictures that you're able to save. You can use Pic Collage. Um, you can use Canva. They're teaching Canva now. And you can just text that simply out with the words holiday pre-sale. It can be, even if you don't have a, a total online business, you can do this anyway. Text out a picture like the one that was on the front screen. I just took that uh, picture that said holiday pre-sale. I changed it, my group of team of believers, that's now the group cover page. And that's also the cover page in my customers page. So they know that I'm gonna be coming out with the holiday stuff to pre-sell for them. So attach a picture and ask the questions. I think that's the biggest thing uh, where we miss is ask just a simple question. When you're talking to a customer, ask them, who do you need to buy a gift for? Um, Everybody seems to have somebody to buy for, whether they're buying a gift card, they can buy a gift card from you or a gift um, coupon from you, anything, but just create that conversation of who they need to buy for and let them know that you have what's available. Um, something that I do and they know um, every single campaign, if they purchase $40 in um, a campaign, I'm going to give them a free gift. Now, it doesn't have to be anything large, especially with the A-boxes. The A-boxes are a great add-on sell, just like McDonald's. They always ask you, would you like fries with that? Make sure you're um, upselling when you're talking to your customers as well, because they don't always see the A-box. Even to some of my um, regular customers that I visit all the time, I always carry an A box with me. And I, I say to them, because I order on the first day of the campaign, did you see this A box when I go to deliver their order? And they're like, how did I miss that? So I purchase all of the A boxes that I'm able to, that my customers did not, because I want to break those down and give everybody that spends over 40 a free gift. Even if it's an online customer, I am able to send them a free gift for their purchase and it only costs me $2 for a full size mascara. But in turn, that $2 investment for me ends up being a full size investment, but probably two or four if they're ordering online. So when you invest into your customers and into your business and take care of them, just like a store does, they get an additional discount. Maybe they get you know um, a free gift with purchase you also are able to do that because this is your business. So why pre-sell? When Cole sends me an ad, I write out my wish list, right? I fold down the pages, I dog ear them, and then I throw the ad away if I didn't make it there, unless they give me a 30% off. If they give me a 30% off, I may run to Kohl's and I may get something, or I may jump online and order it depending on how bad I want it. 
And if it's not a good deal and I don't see something I want, I throw it away and so do your Avon customers. So they need to know that you can provide their daily needs and their pre and their Christmas gifts from you. But you have to create that excitement for them. And that starts now. What you do now uh, in planting those seeds will will flirt, will grow in the next um, week two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, as they're thinking about. You know, everybody may not be thinking about Christmas right now, but that's okay. You still need to pre-sell. You still need to be creating the ideas and creating the wish list so that they know that you they can come to you, whether it's for gift baskets, whether it's to purchase online, um, whatever it is, they need to know they can come to you for that. But it's up to you to create that excitement now and continue not not and don't stop um because you know i know i've been selling christmas gifts probably for the last probably three months now people have been stocking up because you know maybe they have a lot of people to buy for and they keep that avon box in their house and they always have a gift okay so what's new pre-sale the demo book is an amazing tool to use for yourself. Um, I know, you know, we miss the actual book, but there's so many great um, specials in there. And especially now that if you are President's Club or Honor Society, Rose Circle, McConnell Club, you get whatever percentage you're making on the demo um, as well. And you get to purchase two. So you get to buy one for you and you can buy one to sell or one to demo to carry with you take pictures of it, post it online. But I will tell you, sometimes people, because we're so um, inundated with uh, social media anymore, that people scroll by if it's not a video. So if you are comfortable making a video of the product, like I just saw, I wasn't gonna order it. I really was trying not to order it, but somebody posted a video of the greenhouse. Have you seen the greenhouse? Like. Uh, uh, in motion where it's all lit up and like I love gardening and so now I have to purchase that greenhouse not from the picture but because somebody showed the video of it lit up and working and so it just rings it just I don't know it sets something off and I have to order that so if you don't like videos step outside your comfort zone and uh, create that video uh, I'll give you a perfect example. Last year, Terry is on my team. Terry loved the Christmas trees and she really saw a vision with it and she wanted to sell 100 and she set her sights on 100. Terry definitely sold 100 Christmas trees because she kept posting it, she kept sharing it. And then people kept sharing that they bought it from her. So they tagged her in the post. If you have somebody purchase something from you, social media is, is a great way to advertise. Have them tag you in it and, uh, and create, an, create a special for every customer that tags you in something they buy. You're gonna give away something at the end of the month. You can do it monthly. And that makes a huge deal. They get excited for that. They want you, they, they want to buy from you um, because they look forward to you taking care of them as much as um, Avon takes care of us. Okay, so this goes back to the beginning. Don't stock up. <laughs> There's a hoarder show for a reason. And what do you see in the hoarder show? Sometimes you see those old Avon boxes with the lids on top, right? Get to know your customers in person and online. Ask them important questions. Who do you need to buy for this year? What does that person like? Offer gifts to them for everyone on their list and pre-sell by investing your time. Mark your calendars daily to post a picture and think about what income producing activity will you do this week that's gonna bring money down the road. And plant those seeds. We have amazing products. Um, I know people who, I just talked to somebody and they don't want to go to the mall. They don't want to go out to eat. This is the year that you can really, I know some people want to grow their online business. This is the year to grow that online business, but people need to know what you can offer them. And don't forget the men, 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 men. And why do I say that? 
because they don't like to shop, right? And you can save them from sleeping in the doghouse. The holiday sales now will set you up for months to come. And that's for men and women. I have several men that buy um, Valentine baskets from me. They buy their wives Christmas baskets from me. Um, Mother's Day, the list goes on, but it's not just men. I have a, a woman who buys skincare and she said, you know, I need a basket for my mother, but she doesn't wear makeup. She doesn't wear jewelry. And it was at the time when our Kachina dish detergent came out and the hand lotion. And so I asked her if that would be a suitable basket. So I was able to make her up a basket, dish detergent, hand lotion, the, the wipes, um, the three washcloths. So don't discount when somebody says they don't wear makeup. We have so many more products now that we're able to offer for Christmas and you want them buying from you. You don't want them in the chain store. And the reason to pre-sale now too, we have fabulous products and they're going to sell out just like every store does, just like we will because they're so awesome. So start sharing those pictures now. Start sharing, letting your customers know everywhere you go. Let your family, let your friends know that you are taking pre-orders and let them see um, maybe the demo without the prices and start taking those pre-orders now. Well, Joanna, thank you so much. What I took notes, lots and lots of notes. So just to um, say I'm so impressed always by Joanna. Um, she doesn't just talk it, she does it. She works it, she works her business. And what I really, really love, Joanna, and it made me think of myself, is, you know, you can see in the book, The Little Greenhouse, but when you see it lit up, you want it, right? I've seen it yeah. so many times. I have every piece of village that Avon has ever had. Like my house is Christmas villages everywhere when I decorate for Christmas because I gotta, I have to have it. You know, it lights up. It's cute. Another well, I, thing I love. I was yeah. trying not to buy it, and it was just I don't know. I saw it in print in, in live on somebody's timeline. I'm like, okay, added it to the cart. Love so. it. That's me. And then IPA, the income producing activities. I hope everybody wrote that down. That is so important. One of those income producing activities is going and passing your books out or making phone calls. That's what that is. Um, and then the brochures. I'm so impressed about, I never added that up. You know, 50 brochures, if you buy them this campaign, there's 1650. But if you would buy 10 each campaign, um, that's going to be thirty four fifty. What a money-saving idea. So that was something I took. And then just asking the question. Fall, mm -hmm. Fortune is in the follow-up, and mm -hmm. Joanna is so right about just, try that this campaign. Try asking a simple question like, who do you need to buy for? Who do you need to give for? Birthday, holidays, whatever. Let me help you with that, and let me wrap that for you. And put the tag on it. Let me help you. So thank you so much, Joanna, for all of that. Great ideas and great nuggets. And I think the so, thing to remember yay. too, I think the thing to remember too is even when Avon ships it, if it's not somebody local, Avon ships it with Avon tissue paper. And it looks such a nice presentation when it comes as um, you know, from my e-store. So don't discount gifts from your e-store thinking that it just looks like an Amazon package because it doesn't. They really do put the Avon wrap in it. It is, you know, it looks really nice when it comes in the mail and it all, you know, comes as a gift. Absolutely. And we were told when all that first started happening to order something from your own e-store so you mm -hmm. can see that. So I suggest that everybody on here orders from themselves so they can see how it's wrapped. Mm -hmm. So let's move on to what's new, which the old lingo to that is demo book. Okay, so a lot of us have been around for a really long time, but there is four ways to pre-plan your campaign, each campaign, by using the what's new. So four ways to get the what's new. The first way is going in on avonnow.com and actually getting the digital what's new. So just get in on the digital brochure, click on the what's new, and you can see it. The second way is to actually 
go to avonnow.com, hit browse products, and look at the what's new. She's going to show you right here how to do that. You can hit view brochure and then actually click on, as you can see, campaign 20, I believe that's 23 and 24 what's news. How easy is that? You can also download the what's new by a PDF. Um, and have that what's new also that way. Your what's new is really, really important because like I said, you pre-plan your campaign by looking at that what's new. As soon as a campaign closes out, that next day you should be looking at the new what's new that's coming out, the future products. So you, and right here, she's showing you how you can download the PDF at the bottom, um, but you can actually download that and look through and plan your next campaigns. You can get your samples, you can get your demo products, not too many because like Joanna said, you don't wanna be a hoarder, but you wanna get the products that you think your customers would like to see face-to-face. And a lot of those things is just like Lane's showing right now, those products for Christmas that light up, those are the ones that you want to show because they're so much prettier in person when you can light those up and show those around. I remember taking my child to um, her daycare and an Avon representative being there showing all the mommies, the demo products lit up. She was selling like I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if she sold at least $500 that day because they were all wanting the light up products. So make sure that you are going in and getting the what's new so many different ways and planning your campaigns ahead of time and being doing the pre-sales and being proactive. So thank you, Lane, for showing that. We appreciate that. If you have any questions, that was kind of quick, but if you have any questions at the end, we would be glad to show you again, okay? But for Tom's sake, we wanna move on Lane and pull back up the presentation. And I'm gonna turn it over now to my good friend, Kathy Proud-Putnowitz. Are you there, Kathy? We can't hear you if you are. Kathy, I'm gonna go ahead and take over this screen until you can come back on. But as you can see, we always have wonderful stocking stuffers for customers, for your helpers, for appreciation gifts. And speaking of helpers, you know, I say have five to 10 helpers because helpers are those people that you're gonna hand a couple of those brochures to, or maybe they share everything that you do on their social media page. And let's just say they sell $100 for you. You could give them an appreciation gift. Um, any of these little things here, you could give them some hand lotions, you could give them some chapsticks, you could even give them 10% of what they sell. So. These little goodies, what great gifts for stocking stuffers. And I have to tell my little story, Lane. I know we're in a hurry, but this is funny. So I put these little gifts in the stockings of my kids. This is how my youngest daughter figured out that Santa wasn't Santa because she said, Mom, how does Santa get Avon gifts? And I'm like, well, he makes Avon too. So I had to tell that little story to make you all smile. But um, these are great little gifts to give away as teacher um, appreciation, as I always did give the bus driver little gift bag of Avon. They loved me and my kids. Um, they always knew that they would get a little gift from Avon. So these are great, you know, your post office worker, anybody, your male woman, mailman. So great gifts to give. Okay, Lane.
Kathy, can we hear you now? I'm not no. sure we can, Lane. Can you hear me now? Oh, oh, now? oh we can hear you now. Go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now well, thank goodness. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> you are you are you are in front of it, Kathy. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, we wanted to share with you today a leader all the way from Kentucky. She is Rose Circle and Silver Leader, Carol Wilkerson. Carol, can you share with us your strategy for pre-selling? Hello. I'm listening. Hi. Hey, Carol. We can hear you. Great. Okay. Um, yes, I was. Uh, I've been pre-selling for a long time. I would. Um, me and Kathy were talking about how how I would decorate like the bank tellers um, space, and I would put our Avon decorations. Um, across, you know, across their space there. And then they would let me put my business cards. So people could either call me and order or they could um, take my business card and order right online from me. So this year I'm doing it just a little bit different. I've done that at banks. I've done it at um, pharmacies. Um, also at insurance offices, just someplace because Normally, I, would, I got to notice them that they normally hire a florist and they go all out in it. So this year, uh, we're going to give back. And since the banks have been closed and things, they didn't want to do a lot of decorating. Um, so we're going to set some of our products out and they're going to instant sell them for me. So it's going to give back to them because they all have uh, Relay for Life teams or they do a Toys for Tots. They're, each business has their own thing that they donate back to. So I'm going to also be giving them a percentage of whatever their sales are. Uh, so as they have the products up there, they, you know, somebody that's in charge might shoot me a message and say, hey, Carol, we sold all those little, those ceramic Christmas trees there, you know, all in one day. And so I place the more and get some more out there. So we're hoping that that works really well to do a cash and carry this year because people are limiting their stops um, and going through drive throughs and such. But um, one of the pharmacies, he ordered some Halloween uh, houses, the little haunted houses and decorations from me to, to put on his. And he kept calling me back saying, um, somebody wanted mine. Can you get me another one? <laughs> So that's kind of how we got started doing the pharmacies. And then I thought, well, we'll do insurance offices and such. So I think it's working out pretty well to set up and de help them decorate. And then them, uh, beforehand, it was just sales for me. But by me giving back to their, to their um, goals that they have for the Relay for Life, like I said, Employees for Tots, uh, it, it's generating more interest. So I'm just trying to think of more businesses to do that with. Carol, you made me think about something. And this is Lane, by the way. Um, you know, yeah. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I know a lot of businesses or companies, you know, are used to doing traditional fundraising with that. Um, or donation um, fundraising and that could look a little bit differently for everybody and you know a holiday pre-sale for items is a great way to help give back um, especially during you know the breast cancer awareness month too so that just immediately you know popped into my head too as well plus the displays and the amount of light up items we have this year is just incredible and they are great 
quality products that our customers and anybody who sees them are going to want to instantly buy it too. So I love that you're given um, all of these ideas on businesses and where to go and kind of the conversation that you're having with them too and giving back. Thank you. It helps me also because I have my business card out there and they, they have every way that they can contact me. They have my cell phone, they have my email, they have, um, and I put my name on my business cards exactly the way it is on Facebook. So where on my Facebook, I have my maiden name, uh, Carol Land Wilkerson, then that way they don't mistake me by, you know, they know exactly who they're looking for. So I've heard, Carol, you talk about pre-sale. I heard Joanna talk about pre-sale, but, you know, someone that maybe this might be a new idea for them, what they're probably wanting to know is how do you choose what item is good for a pre-sale? Well, last year and the year before with our Avon um, decorations, I mean, everything sold. We were getting down to uh, what I did have on hand. I was swapping out with representatives of some of my downlines, some of my friends that we um, co-host Avon meetings once a month. Uh, they're all they're not in my downline and we swap products out. So uh, I might have had a snowman and she may have had some ornaments that I needed. So it worked out really well to have the extra on hand. Oh my gosh, yeah, and that that teamwork is just amazing because the interesting thought in and through, I mean, we probably have so many years with Avon in this group collectively. The one thing that we all can say will be true is not if an item um, becomes out of stock because of because of demand, but it's when that item will become out of stock. So pre-selling really does allow our representatives and our customers to make sure that they're getting those great things for the holidays ahead of time. So you know, keep that in mind, you know, just because it is available today, but what is that demand gonna be? So all businesses really do design their products for the holiday season to sell out because they don't want to have leftover inventory. And we know that being with Avon, our products are always the hottest, especially when it comes to the holidays and we do sell out. So I love these strategies of you ladies making sure that you're cashing in on the opportunities as soon as you possibly can. This is amazing. What other question guys do we have for Carol or even Joanna? I mean, I'm checking in the chat box, I'm not seeing really any questions. I do have someone mentioned hair salons are absolutely a great place. They definitely decorate too as well. That's true. Yes, Lainey. Yeah. And I love what um, Joanna said that she shares the demo on her social media pages to see what the most popular items are um, out of the what's new. And then she purchases those for quick sales on spot sales are awesome, but only if you can afford to do that. But um, I love what Carol said too, you know, um, just that teamwork, um, sharing with her team and who has what and this is what I need. I think, you know, um, going through these next few months, that's what we're going to need is a lot of teamwork and sharing. So I think that's a great idea. And before we move on to the next topic, you know, we always want to make sure we cover things. So, you know, how to pre-sale, you know, how to choose the items to pre-sale. But what it also means, the pre-sale, is it means that the customer is also paying for that product. We have got so many ways to transfer money, um, whether it's through PayPal, Venmo, um, the Cash App, all of the different ways. So pre-sale is a great way to get those instant sales and which also means instant money transfer and meaning you have the money for the product way before you're ordering it so it's definitely a win-win if somebody wants to buy it they will be willing to pay for it so absolutely awesome ladies so exciting you're getting really getting me in the holiday spirit but i think it was the holiday the holiday music 
But we can't forget about those PJs and slippers. Now, can we? I know Joanna had showed us, shared with us about the Christmas trees that Terry had done. Um, there was also, I cannot, we've been thinking, I cannot remember the representative that did this, but a big thing this year, do you know that we sell more slippers than we sell anything else in the holidays? It is incredible what Avon representatives can do with some slippers. Um, there was also another great fundraiser, and we were trying to think who did it, and we can't remember, but she actually had a goal of making sure that she was able to provide slippers to every resident in a nursing home. Um, we know that they use slippers, and they wanted to give back, and that was one of her ways of actually doing it that year, too, as well. And yes, they're great for, for helpers, too, as well. So let's not forget about our PJs and our slippers to make sure that everybody is holiday ready for this holiday season. So let's introduce one more new thing before we dive in. And we're going to end this call with you guys um, sharing, you know, is there a tip that you're going to want to start trying? Is there something new that you're going to want to try with your business? And if you want to actually come off mute or type in a chat box and share it, we are going to invite you to do that right after we actually go in to the promotional tool. This is a great new tool that Avon has for our representatives that really puts your business on the next level. So I'm gonna walk you through actually how to set this up. It takes two seconds. It's so easy and incredible. So if you haven't done this yet, we're challenging you to start trying it today. You're simply gonna to go to manage business, click on your promotional tool, and I do apologize, my computer is going really slow today, so uh, bear with me just a little bit. I knew it was doing that when we popped through the what's new. So your promotional dashboard will actually have any promotional codes you've already set up. So just for this purpose, I've actually set up two other promotional codes. I've done a free shipping one, and I also did a free, free kids soapy lime Answer. Now, notice it's got a little exclamation point. That means that I need to do an action here. I didn't finish the promotion, so it's letting me know that I need to do something. And then you can see as the free ship, it's set up correctly. There's no exclamation points or anything with it. So let's just go ahead and go in and create a new promotion. I'm just going to click create new promotion it's going to flip me on over to the next screen. And it's really cool to see what kind of things Avon provides to our representatives, which is really a great gift that you can give to your customers. So we're gonna first select it. In this drop down menu, you're actually going to see all of the promotions that Avon is allowing or giving you to promote to your customers. So our first one is a free shipping on a $50 order. Now we all know that our customers get free shipping automatically on a $60 order. That's when the free shipping actually transfers into a ship share between Avon and our representative splitting the commission and also, also paying for the shipping in both directions. This one just allows it on a little bit of a cheaper order. It also tells you the dates available. Avon also has a free A box for me to choose to give to my customers with their $60 purchase. So $60 purchase, free shipping, and an A box. How incredible is that? And the cost for me on this is absolutely free. Avon is absorbing that for me, which is so cool, right? And then here is the kids free soapy lime cleanser with a $40 purchase. I'm going to go ahead and select this one because it's free and I have got somebody that is interested in kids products. So I'm immediately thinking of that person and I'm going to show you what a completed one looks like versus one that's kind of needs some, needs some help on it. So I want to put in here um, free slime is my promotion code. The date start, I can start it today, but it's not going to actually take place until tomorrow. So if you start a promotion code today, it's not going to be available until tomorrow. And Avon gives me the dates of when I can make this promotion for. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the extended amount of time. I can put any notes in here if I want to. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to hit save and continue. It's then going to put my list of customers. Now, I do not sell Avon because I can't because I'm an employee. So these are me and maybe a few friends of mine, some test things that I've done, 
all of that. So I'm actually just going to click on one of my tests. I can select every customer in here if I wanted to. So some of you might ask, well, Lane, where did these customers come from? Well, it's all in your web office. The people that you are getting email addresses from, people that have placed orders on your website, um, anybody that you've entered in as a customer, put their email address in because you can actually send them promotion tools. So I actually have a tip for you guys. This is from top seller um, honor society member, Dot Green. Uh, Doc Green has been with Avon for a very long time. Um, she does not hop on webinars, um, but what she does do is email. And she has actually been using this promotional tool since it went out because email is her thing. She actually sends an email individually to her customers asking them which they would prefer. Would they prefer free shipping on a $40 order, a free kid slime, or a free A box with their order? She allows them to pick what gift that they would like. When they reply back to her, she then sets up the promotional code for them and emails them back with the code, letting them know that she selected and made this promotional code just for them on their next coming order they have until this date. She makes it a little bit personal, so that way she still has that connection to her customers. So that's just a tip from one of our stop sellers on how she actually uses this promotional tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and save and continue. I can actually write a really awesome message right here. Um, you are awesome because we love doing notes that feel good. And then I'm going to submit my promotion, okay? It's going to take me back to my promotion page. And let me there. Well, if my computer wouldn't scroll back up, there it is my free gift, free slime. It is ready to go, activated tomorrow. Avon is going to send that customer an email upon my behalf and letting them know that that it promotion is ready to go for them. So it's super easy to use, really great um, tool to use. All you have to do is make sure that you are grabbing those email addresses and making sure that you are connecting with them. Avon's going to do everything else upon your behalf, which is really, really awesome. So any questions on the promotional tool and maybe how to use it? Is that so simple? Like so simple very 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 exciting so so it's your turn what are some of the holiday ideas that you are taking away or that maybe you are going to be trying this year that you would like to share we're going to open it up you can also have maybe a little q a if you want to this is your opportunity as representatives to kind of connect and ask questions so Lane, I just want to ask you a question really quick. Yeah. So if so, if you send that code to me, free slime, because I would love to get that for my nieces and nephews, and I share that code with my mom, can my mom use that code too? That is a great question, and that's where it gets a little bit tricky. The answer to that is no, because that promotion code is linked to those addresses. Now, you could share your mom's email address with me, and I could go ahead and add her to that promotion, or I could make her a whole new one for that matter. So it's really important to make sure that you've got email addresses when you're working with the promotional tool. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, such a good question, Tammy. Do we have anything in the chat box or anybody that wants to share something that they're going to be trying this holiday season? Vicki says that it's easy and that she likes fundraisers. Vicki, do you want to share what you've got on your mind for fundraisers this year? I know we don't have a quiet group. Hmm. I have an idea I'd like to share. Please do. <laughs> well, um, the past, um, maybe it was just one year, I had a holiday open house and I invited my customers. Um, I had some snacks um, and I also had um, 
cash and carry items and I offered free bagging or free gift wrapping. So I had one table that was set up with just um, free bags, paper, bows, things like that. Um, and so when people came and purchased items as they left, they could bag them if they want to their self. So I had a few customers that made the comment that they thought that was awesome. They hadn't done any Christmas shopping that they could just come in, get the stuff, bag it, and they're done. <laughs> so I just thought I'd share that cute little idea. That is a great idea. I am the worst rapper. Like I'll get you your gift. But then for some reason that that wrapping part never happens until like I'm rushing out the door. <laughs> I love that idea. It's all ready to go. And you know, there's so many great places, you know, to help with that that are great buys to um as well. So, you know, a sack and tissue paper can really go a long way, or so can a roll roll. And you know, I'm pretty sure when I, last time I went to Bed Bath and Beyond and got a wedding gift, I had to wrap my own wedding gift that I purchased there. They they took that away from me, so that's a great idea. I love that. Actually, hey, Lane. Lane. I'm yeah, sorry, Queenie. I, I have a question for Talene. Okay. Yeah. Talene, it's Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Hello. So listen, as you so you you did your open house in the past, okay? So when you're looking at the demo book this year, tell me what your strategies are going to be this year versus last year. I'm struggling with the idea of an open house. Um, I, I'm just not sure with COVID um, if that's practical or not. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing something soon while the weather's still pleasant and doing it outside in my backyard maybe. Um, but what has been most popular with me are, are cheaper items, like $5 items. Um, it doesn't even have to be Christmassy and Christmas packaging. Um, in the past, I've always checked the, um, the goodbyes um sections and bought cheaper clearance avon items and then i have like a five dollar table and people just grab them up like hotcakes great great well let me ask you this when you're going through the what's new um what kind of what kind of products are you looking at to add to your to your either you know your sale in the backyard or something maybe virtually that you're doing online which products are you kind of congregating towards well i've been advertising um a few of the items already and the little ornaments that have the um um the makeup applicators that are shaped like a christmas tree and a um, snowman i can tell that those are going to be really popular um, and the little um, purse size uh, holiday um, lotions and lip balms uh, that people are already pre-ordering those too. They're going to be real popular. I love that. Oh, I love that. Can you hear me, Lane? <laughs> yes, I can. Sorry. So I, I love her ideas and that's what I was getting ready to say. Talene, if you had to change because of 2020 being a big change and us wearing masks and everything else, what would a virtual grand opening holiday party look like? And would you do one of those? Well, actually, I have done something like that before too the past few years. Um, where I actually have shared my what's new um, with my mom and my sister-in-law, who are also some of my best Avon customers. And I allow them to purchase whatever items they want to at my cost with the agreement that they will let me open them and demo them as far as not using them, but for show. And I have one of my downline members um, 
actually come and we set up. We set it all up on my island, my kitchen island, and I have my son to make him video, and we do a live event where uh, we show each of the items that I have there, and um, you know, we just talk about the size and how it smells, and and we try to make it real. Um, like she, even though my this down line, she's a young lady and she doesn't, um, she's not as active as I am, but she's a different generation. She's a, a different target group. So I think that's good to get her input and we don't practice this. So a lot of times the first time that she's smelling those holiday scents or the holiday candles is right there live. So you're getting her real response to what it smells like. I love that. I think that's a great idea. And I think that so many people this year, think about this, are not going to be going Black Friday into the malls. They're going to be shopping online. So this month is the month you want to share what we have. You don't want them going to Big Lots and, you know, the mall to Macy's and going to Walmart and Walgreens and getting their light up Christmas products or clothing or, or gifts. You want them to get it from you. But we have to be proactive and we have to sell now. So now today is the time to plan those campaigns and get ahead of the game because if you wait, it's gonna to be too late, right? So I love that idea of opening your box of products online live. And if you don't know how to do it, Talene uses her son. Use your nephew, your grandchild. I mean, they know way more than we do. Little Lane's little girl can probably take you online and take you to Facebook and her YouTube cartoons at two years old. I mean, honestly, this is the way of the time. So let's do it. Okay. So thank you all so much. Lane, anything else? Not unless somebody else has something that they want to share. I mean, I think Tammy, Kathy, and I are noting everyone that's here because in two months from now, we want to we want you guys to be going. Thank you for reminding us of pre-selling, and thank you, Joanna, and thank you, Carol, for sharing your tips because I was ahead of this game and I killed it before this item went out of stock. All of my customers are so happy. Um, so those are the conversations we want to be hearing about, and we know that each and every single one of you guys can do it. And you know, Carol and, and um, Joanna, thank you again for taking the time out of your day and sharing your tip. And Joanna, my Kansas City Chiefs are playing tonight, just to let you know, okay? Just to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I, I couldn't, I couldn't resist. <laughs> and we are the thing that's happened in 2020 is the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. So that's, that's something. <laughs> We are sending oh, this out to the. Whoops. Did we have That's someone okay, else? I was just saying. We're just. I was just saying we're sending out the recording, so make sure that your teams know they will get because. We have a lot more today than we usually do at night. So that's why we were trying a daytime webinar. Um, but we will be sending this replay out with these great ideas because we want everyone to be proactive and to put money in your pocket for the holidays. So share, share, share once you um, get the email and make sure that your team is reading their emails and listening to the video. So thanks everybody. Have a good night. Bye. Go for it, Tina.